Ting, Empress, could you please share with us a little bit about who you are, the organizations you represent, and which part you're getting ready to try? Because we want everybody in the world to understand this serious try this African Queen Empress is getting ready to be involved in. Give Blessed back. Rastafari love, greetings, blessings. I am Sister Empress Ijania Christian. I represent on this straw the Caribbean Rastafari Organization and the Caribbean Pan African Network, which is the African Union. Union Diaspora Network in the Caribbean. I am on a repatriation mission and basically I am joining a few other Rastafari sons and daughters who have returned to the motherland. We are in various ways we are opening Repatriation and reparation squad of which we have spoken over the years will be realized. We realize that there are some preparatory activities that must be engaged in and we recognize the need to dialogue with both governments and non-governments and pri the private sector as well. So all sectors of society are to be involved and we are finding the various ways and means of seeing what it is that we can bring to the motherland when we return. As we are here in this wonderful, pristine Isle of St. Kitts, this has been a fabulous opportunity for us to get an idea of what are some of the messages that you would share in terms of dealing with repatriation and reparations. Let's start with the repatriation first. You had an opportunity to share an interview on several of the blog talk radio networks, I and I Radio in particular, but I'd like you to give us like some cogent, clear points of what motivates you in this work of, of, of repatriation and then Reparation. I do not know if I can identify a specific motivating factor. It just seems to me to be the most natural thing to do. And personally, I'm overdue. So I would really say to any individual or family who's listening, take a visit. Take a visit first and then have your plan, your family repatriation plan. And whatever is required of you, you begin to put things in place. The whole of Africa awaits us, from Cape to Cairo. And various African countries have been expressing varying degrees of interest and readiness to have us come home. We need to take up the ball and to begin to show that we are indeed committed to returning to Africa and to fulfill that prophecy. If we are thinking along prophetic lines, it's about the fulfillment of prophecy. If you're thinking along economic lines, then it's about a pan African block that um, helps us to become more powerful as we seek to engage competitively in trade with a world that's not necessarily fair to people that look like us and there is a history that you know has to be set right and so there is also the business of reclaiming the wealth of Africa and reversing the brain drain there's so many reasons really there's not a single motivating factor it's just the most natural thing to do